No, wait, wait. We'll just wait till we get to the grass. No, because we're going to have a little canter on the grass. Just a slow canter, Farouk. So hopefully that he, he listens nicely because this is uh, heading towards his galloping spot and he does tend to pick up a bit of speed on his own account. Slow. Oh, we're going to have a trot. Oh, well, I think I'll let him trot. Oh, no. Oh, yes, that was a sort of a, I'm going to go into canter. <laughs> I mean, I'm not asking him to do any of this. If I was asking him, then whoa, 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 good boy. Good boy, steady, good boy, well done. You can see that worried him, but uh, he, he, he was a little bit, a uh, little bit on his toes, but he didn't take off, he didn't spin round. So that was a good boy. Yeah, steady. We'll just have you on the grass, so that's it. No, no, he says I want to go on the road, but I don't want him to go on the road. I just have to have my leg, uh, right leg just pushing him um, over a bit because he's tending to want to hang to the road. If, if, you, if you find that your horse is um, putting his bottom out, like say, say your horse is doing this and he won't you know you want him to go straight so then you have to do which is something that you might think is a bit counterintuitive this is for people that don't ride um so then you have to turn his head to the opposite direction of the way he wants to be going and at the same time put your leg on your right leg on i.e put it so that uh, it's a little bit back from the girth like that and um he's uh, then um looking the other way so his bottom's in. He's doing a little shoulder fall, but that doesn't matter because you can stra straighten it once he's got the idea by using this leg just behind the girth, pushing him over. You can then release him back to going straight. If you see what I mean. <laughs> or shoulder fall. I mean, there's nothing wrong with shoulder fall walking down your thing. Um, but if he wanted him to, if he, if he was acting up like Apollo did the other day in the menage um, with, with Renz, he was uh, just. Uh, head to the wall and his bottom was coming out and Renz didn't know quite how to correct that so I've, I've mentioned it to him you just a little bit of inside flexion just so you see the eye and at the, then or at the same time so maybe slightly behind um, at the same time but um, you put your leg on just behind the girth the inside leg just behind the girth just to just to keep his bottom towards the wall so I hope that makes sense because I'm not going to, uh, it's very overgrown now, it sticks out onto a little bit of grass and there isn't a lot of uh, grass, as you can see it's quite narrow, so um, I don't want him to suddenly um, see a branch and him swerve onto the road. So I want to protect his hooves at all costs at the moment. Walk, 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 and over, whoa. I don't mean woe. So you've got to be careful with your words because woe is stop. You see now he's turning his bottom out because he wants to get over but I want him to go over using my leg. That's it, good boy, walk. And you can see he knows this is his galloping spot so he's just he's just uh, telling me let's get on with it and he's putting his bottom out um, so that his bottom goes onto the road, his head's into the tree, which we don't want, so he's going to walk. Now he says, well, this is blooming funny, we never walk up here. <laughs> but he's doing very well, isn't he? Look at that. He's, 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 you know, he's not got his head right in the air. Yes, we are a little bit shoulder for, but that just uh, keeps his bottom in. And he's just been a little defiant. That's why he's throwing his head, because I'm having to use the rein. And he's just been a little defiant by thinking I'll just gain a bit more rain by putting my head up. He has no martingale. None of my horses have martingales. I think that, um, uh, obviously there's places for martingales, absolutely. But with my horses, being pleasure horses, I want them to be without martingales. And I want to make sure that I practice to keep the heads down without using the device. As you can see, it's very... He's going the shoulder, shoulder, uh, shoulder in now, but that's all right. Yeah. Unfortunately, we can only do shoulder in on one side, which, of course, we have to correct uh, another time by doing it the other way. Head down, good boy. 
and he does understand head down. When he gets too much with his head up poking his nose, then I can say head down to him and he knows what that means. And he's doing very well, don't you think? Considering this, he's never walked up here. Never, I don't think, in his life. Apart from when, of course, he was just a youngster and we were just starting off with riding. But he's doing very well. He's, his head's fairly well round. He's, he's throwing it a little bit, trying to get in a little bit of purchase off the rain. But you can see, you know, this is why I'm not galloping him up here because it gets very, very narrow with little nasty little briars coming out. That'll all drop back in the, um, what's raspberries there? That'll all drop back at the um, end of the year. So he's turned himself into, into a good horse now. He's a good boy. As you can see, he's going straight. Now I don't have to have any much pressure on the rein. He's understood that, oh, we're not, we're not galloping then, but we're going to gallop now. And gallop on. Bella's got a good turn of speed. Don't know if you've noticed. And trot. So knee into the saddle, straightening my back up, and walk. Um, she has a. She is definitely a little sprinter. Oh, she's never going to be a, a Farukles in the running department. But what a good girl! Really loves running, which of course bodes well for me because I'm a canterhound. Um, so yeah, yeah, good girl. Very. Uh, and I like to see that. I love a willing horse. I love. I love it. I really do. And there are definitely places for horses that aren't. Um, of the forward going nature. There's, not, there's a, a tremendous amount of people I meet um, just going on the pleasure rides which don't want to go more than walk and that's absolutely fine especially if you've got the horse that just likes to go along at a steady space. I mean it wouldn't it would do for Oops said it if he never got out a walk but the, there's horses that, that you have to really kick on to get them to walk so that is good if you get the right combination of horse and rider there's a horse for everybody I think it's just a matter of finding him or her. And a nice uh, loose rein and a long neck after that. And then we'll trot down uh, the stubble might as well if there's no farm machinery working oops that frightened him my boot caught the gate and uh, it just frightened him didn't it that's He's a reactive horse, so you've just always got to remember that he's never going to be a plod. And Turrot is always going to have a reactive nature, no matter how desensitised he gets. But you see, for a, an experienced rider that loves speed, such as myself, <laughs> um, that's perfectly fine. You accept that he's got a little bit of a spooky nature and always will have. Uh, even you know when he's an old boy so you've just got to, you've got to remember when you're buying your horses what are you capable of what do you want to do so it's not just what you want to do is it's are you capable because if you want to jump and you and you get a, and you buy perhaps an older grade a horse you know you, you are you capable of holding him when he is approaching a jump because they can get very, very keen. Because I love it. So you've got to make sure that you know what you're doing before you go and purchase the wrong one. It's much harder to sell a horse than it is to buy one. Good boy. Yes, good boy. So we'll just have a little canter. Steady. Yes, he knew that word. And canter. But we're just cantering. We don't want to go fast, Farouk. Canter. Good boy.
turrot, turrot, all on the voice, no leg, uh, no knee into the saddle, no uh, squeeze of the rein, just voice. Good boy. And I know people don't like talking to the horses. Um, it was some, it's just not their thing, and that's fine. You just use all the aids that uh, aren't voice. But I, I like using my voice. I, it makes I, I feel I'm more in contact with the horse as a, as a bonding type thing. Um, obviously, if I was competing and show jumping or whatever, I probably wouldn't bother teaching the words as much as I do. Good boy. So I think it's just each their own if you want to talk to your horse. Don't be bullied into not talking to your horse by people that say they don't understand you and all this sort of thing. Um, but if you don't want to talk to your horse, well, it's your, it's your, it's your business, isn't it? You don't, you don't have to talk to them. It's just coming a little a bit um, of drizzle, tiny, tiny little bit of drizzle. You probably won't see it on the camera. Just got to let him, let him have a long rain because he shouldn't break into canter because he knows he's, we never canter on tarmac, so he really should know that he, he mustn't do that. So I've got me uh, got me head down and me long rain, just so he's pushing from his hind quarters, stretching down with his neck. Changing diagonal, of course. Just pushed him over with my right leg there because he's tending to wander to the middle. Nice and relaxed. Which is all good for his heart rate. And I'm hoping that um, even though it'll be exciting for him on his event, he has done them as a pleasure ride, the pleasure side of it. Uh, so he has been around that sort of thing. Obviously, he doesn't. He's never had a, a run-up uh, and a vetting, but he is in his past life when he was a show Arab. Of course, he did a lot of running up in hand then. So I, I, that's something that um, I'm not going to practice because I, I know I know he'll do it, and I, and I did have to do it for his uh, five-stage vetting a week or two ago, whenever that was. Oh, and I've decided I'm going to get a new camera. I've got two cameras, they're both cam box, and I've always, and that's the cameras I've always had, because they're so discreet, they just um, velcro on underneath your cap, so absolutely marvellous, very discreet, they don't get pushed off with the, you know, when you're going through tree branches and sort of thing, um, like you do with uh, with Steve's camera, when he mounted it on his uh, helmet, it, um, it, it fell off once because it got uh, too, the branch was too low and it just knocked it off, so then he put it down after that. Um, so the camera I'm going for is... Um, Audro EP8. So that, that's that's the camera I'm interested in, and I am going for that rather than the cam box because the cam box don't seem to have made any improvements since they did the V4, and unfortunately they are now a hundred or more pounds dearer because we're not in the EU, and they're made in France. So the import charges, um, same as if I was to import something from America. The import charges are based on the cost of the camera, um, so that's why I'm going to try this new one. It's not as dis well, it's not discreet at all. It sits over your ears um, and uh, faces forward, so it's quite noticeable. Um, but I thought I'd give it a go. I'm just a bit concerned. I know it'll fit over my ears, but I'm just a bit concerned how it's going to fit round the back of my head because of the hat being on. So if it doesn't work out, then it'll have to be sent back. I'm buying it through Amazon. And the time is 25 past eight. So been an hour and 10 minutes. 
Hello, Bella. Hello, Bella. Yes, good girl. And whoa, good boy. When once the season's finished with the endurance, he'll go back to warm water. Yes, you will. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. We love reading the comments, we love emojis, and we'd love a thumbs up. If you would like to catch up on some of our older videos, just click on the Apollo icon, which will take you to our home page. We have over 1,700 videos to choose from, and you can sort by the most popular, the oldest, or the newest. Thanks for watching. TTFN.